with that, I wanted to welcome uh, our incredible guest for today, Olivier Kennedy, uh, the CEO of Enigma Communications Agency. It's a agency based in Geneva, Switzerland, that thinks and communicates differently, harnessing the power of AI in their work to create original, influential, and innovative products. Uh, Olivier, ça va? Yes, really good. Thank you so much. Welcome. It's great to have you here and uh, take it away. Perfect. Hey, um, so I'm really honored to be with all of you and uh, I, I'm really happy to, to share this moment. And uh, so I'm going to try, we're going to start by asking you, um, I'd like to ask you, so uh, is um, the image A or B, which one is done by AI, which, done, which one is real? And um, you can put it um, in, so I can see A, B, A, B is AI, both AI, A is real, A is real, B is real. Okay. So it, it looks like we have both AI or A is real and some B. So the importance is what you think, because then we're going to see what it is. So um, I'll give you the, the result. So it's uh, A is the AI one and B the real one. And um, and it's very interesting because um, I fully understand that A is much closer to what a photographer in an agency will bring out than the B, because in the B, there are some mistakes in the way that the lighting is done. So basically, more mistakes, more real. Like, um, it, it goes quite far. Um, and then- and I, don't know about, I don't know about you guys, but I thought the one on the right was, was the, the fake because of its eye. You know, that little, uh, the left eye of the baby cat is like a little um, imperfect. Um, and um, that was why I thought that was the AI cat. And um, we'll, we'll talk about that idea that we have that AI is imperfect uh, here in a sec. But before that, let's do number two. Yeah, so number two, uh, I'd like to ask you. So all of those are done by my team. So um, uh, either... Uh, with a photo a photographer or with uh, um, AI tool. So uh, here, what what uh, what is your thing? Okay. Hey, I'd like to apologize if I'm a bit slow today. Um, it's I started my job at six o'clock this morning and it's seven thirty. So I'm doing my best. <laughs> Had an early flight. Oh. Time difference. Um, so, hey, uh, all right, so what is that? Uh, yeah, interesting. So here you can see they are both done with AI. They are both done with AI. And um, those are the, the state of art of what we can do using the best prompt we had um, with uh, two of our designer that em embraced, uh, that embraced um, AI. Uh, it wasn't easy at start. They were all interested, but some of them look at it like, oh, it's going to replace us. And uh, and I realized something just a bit earlier that we always have this feeling of, hey, I give one prompt and I see the result and then I judge this prompt, the result of the prompt. That is not actually the way you work with AI. Usually you give a prompt, you see what comes out and you iterate, 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 iterate. And that's how you get to something amazing. But still, the way we judge it is based on picture. I take a picture, I judge the camera, and I judge how it works. That is not the way you judge in theory AI, and I will come back on it. So here, both of them are uh, made by AI. And basically, they are too perfect to be true. Um, and the hands are well done, because Midjourney 5, so I did a presentation on Midjourney 4, um, the day Midjourney 5 came out. So. I talk about the hand problem, but said next time, it's, I'm sure the next version is going to be better. And during the presentation, Mid Journey 5 came out. I had some images to show and the hands were perfect. So let's remember that uh, today what we see is 1% of what they will be in five years. And we have to be very humble. What I'm going to present you today is the best of what I found and what we found out. I'm sure that in a month and a half, there will be a lot of updates. 